Rebels, I'm Charlie Reardon. And I'm Kaylee Ramos. You're watching Rebel Vision. Summer Bridge is registering. You can sign up at reservations.pcsb.org. On Tuesday, May 19th, all students are able to go to Dixie and return any school items that they may have. These can include, but are not limited to, textbooks and uniforms. We know that you guys are pretty bored right now, and we think we have a solution to that. Let's pass it over to Meredith with How to Stay Busy. What's up, Dixie? It's Meredith Grimm, and welcome to Rebel Vision at Home Edition. Today, I'm bringing you guys some ideas of stuff you can do while you're stuck at home during quarantine. You could watch a movie. You could bake something. You could walk your dog. You could play a game. Uno. You could do an at-home workout. You could do a puzzle. You could teach your dog a new trick. You could FaceTime your friend. Hey, Kaylee. Hey, everybody. You could tan. You could clean out your closet. You could make a TikTok. You could play basketball. Well, that's all I have for you today, Rebels. Remember to stay home, stay healthy, and stay six feet apart. See you next time. You could teach your dog a new trick. Stop it. What's up, Dixie? You could watch a movie. <laughs> you could play basketball. Thanks, Meredith. Seniors, your drive through graduation is May 22nd. On that day, you will receive your cap and gown, get your pictures taken, receive awards, and more. There is a schedule to the celebration. Seniors with the last name of A through D will start at 8 a.m. sharp. Letters E through H will start at 8.35 a.m. I through L will start at 9.10. M through P will start at 9.45. Q through T will start at 10.20. And finally, letters U through Z will start at 10.55. We've all heard the phrase, stay safe, a lot recently, but how do we stay safe? Well, Rocco has the answer for you. Safety and readiness tips to limit the spread of COVID-19. How is COVID-19 spread? According to the CDC, the virus is thought to be spread mainly from person to person. This means it may spread between people who are close in contact with one another, within about six feet, or through respiratory droplets when an infected person coughs or sneezes. On the following slides are steps you can take to limit the spread. Safety tips. Stay home as much as possible. Keep a safe distance. Wash hands often. Cover your cough sick call ahead readiness tips stay informed and in touch prepare for possible illness take everyday preventative steps thanks Rocco staying connected with our friends has never been more easy yet more difficult well Kaylee and Garrett have tips on how to help you stay connected Hi guys, my name is Kaylee Ramos and you are watching Rebel Vision. I hope you all are staying safe and doing well. I am going to be joined with Garrett and we're going to be talking about some fun ways to stay connected with your friends. So as we all know, there's FaceTime, there's Skype, there's Google Hangouts, there's a bunch of apps that you can use to stay connected with your friends. In my opinion, the coolest one is actually Zoom, which a lot of people are using now and you can use it for a lot more than just a classroom setting. My personal favorite about Zoom is that you could have those virtual backgrounds that you can set and it's pretty cool i mean like one minute you can be in space and then another minute you can be at disney world like you can set it to whatever you want that's pretty cool other things that you can do that is pretty cool actually is that you can watch videos with your friends on there and you can listen to music as well so you know what that means if you can listen to music you can have a karaoke night with your friends i know that sounds silly but it is fun. Now I know a lot of people are trying to set up a workout routine during quarantine. It's hard to stay motivated sometimes when you're having to work out by yourself at home. So a good way to fix that is to find a workout partner or find a workout group that you feel comfortable working out with 
and hop on a Zoom call with them. Just work out with them. Pick out some days out of the week that you guys are all available and just start doing the workout routine. It's a good way to stay motivated because you're doing it with other people. You're doing it with your friends, which makes it more fun. It's just, it's really nice. You guys can motivate each other, be positive. It's really, really great. I recommend it. And besides Zoom, there's this really awesome app called Airtime that is really good with letting you watch YouTube videos, Netflix videos, bunch of different movies. You can do that all while video chatting with your friends, which is really cool. Anyways, thank you so much for listening. I'm gonna pass it on over to Garrett and he's gonna tell you some more exciting and fun ways to stay connected with your friends. Thank you guys. Thanks, Kaylee. I'm Garrett Shoemake. I'm gonna tell you my ways of staying connected with my friends, even though I physically can't be there with them. So before I go on, I just wanna say that I hope everybody's staying healthy, clean, and you got your resources stocked up. I hope no one's running around having to get stuff that are in shortage and also i just want everybody to stay positive and keep their heads up we're all in this together we're gonna get through it some way or another and eventually this is gonna end how i stay connected with my friends is through gaming i'm a gamer i play xbox nintendo switch but if you play ps4 or pc that's also fine and a lot of people will probably say well i'm already doing that or people do it all the time what's the point my point is when i first got the news that like oh you gotta start staying home and I wasn't playing more text box at the time. I was doing a bunch of things that around the house, doing my schoolwork, and I started to realize how lonely I was. It felt very empty. I felt very sad. And for someone who's always happy like me, being sad weighed a lot heavier on me than, than it normally would for some other people. So I decided I was going to finish my schoolwork for the day and text a couple of friends and say, hey, you want to play Xbox? And so I did that. And they said yes. And we ended up playing for the rest of the day and well into the night, almost all night. I felt... I started feeling happy again. I felt almost ecstatic because I, I knew that my friends were okay and we were able to hang out even though we physically couldn't be there. Now it's gotten to where like, instead of just taking a regular break like where you go get something to drink, eat or take care of something, like we'll just set the controller down and we'll just start talking and just check up on each other and you know, how we're doing, if anybody needs anything. And having like heartfelt guy to guy conversations instead of just, you know, hopping on saying hey and then going diving straight into it and it's made me realize like how special it is to have friends online to play with even though we can't physically be there for each other and that's that's why i'm telling you this right now is because i don't want you to feel like me feel empty and lonely and also i just hope you guys realize the same thing i realized and how special it is to be able to be with your friends all the time even though you can't be there physically but anyways i hope that this video helps you a lot it helps you feel happy and makes you feel like someone's there for you or it gives you inspiration to contact a couple people and say hey you want to hang out and pl play some video games or or even pl or even go on an app together or something like that but anyways that's all i got for you hope everybody's staying healthy awesome to hear from you guys everyone to an extent is feeling high pressure right now ray has some tips on how to stress less Hey Rebels, the school year is coming to a close, and for a lot of us that either means big projects, intimidating exams, or just generally a lot of stress. Okay, nobody could have predicted I'd be so gravely incorrect about the final days of our school year, but in a way, the stress mentioned is still pertinent, just not in the way we would all probably rather at this point. Instead of exams, testing our capabilities, or retaining classwork, we have whatever you'd like to make of this whole situation. Similarly, this means we all need to try and deal with our stress relative to our current conditions, because a lot is changing right now, including the way we conduct our schoolwork and the way we conduct ourselves around others. We just feel robbed of a lot of things that a lot of people got to experience before us and will get to experience after us. We've got to just hold it together as best we can. So, what can we do in this time? We can still do things as stress relief that are relatively normal to help us cope. Creating a little routine for yourself is a great way to get some normalcy right now. I know some teachers are holding meetings on their class days and times to achieve that effect for themselves and their students to help relieve their stress, but I also know some of us are struggling with getting up before noon. You can still make a productive little routine for yourself based on whatever activities you're inclined to do daily. Staying in contact with friends is also really great and helps immensely during times like this. You can use apps like Discord, which I strongly recommend, been using it for years, Skype, FaceTime, Instagram, Snapchat. It can also be very helpful for you to talk to people about things that are stressing you and get a second perspective on your issues. I tend to do that. I also 
want to add the alternative of it's also okay to do the complete opposite and not talk to anyone, just block everyone out. If it makes you feel better, just take care of yourself, watch for signs that you're not doing okay, and reach out when you get to those. But on the topic of reducing stress, keeping some sort of little journal or making notes in your phone or something like that of things that you need to get done every day can be helpful to portioning out the things you need to do into tolerable amounts. Finally, keeping yourself motivated to do literally anything right now is a blessing. I know a few of my friends have lost a lot of motivation, if not all of it, and I, I do too some days. I've, I've not completely lost it and having small daily activities and goals helps a ton to keep me getting up and out of bed. A thing I've personally found comforting in this time is playing video games. You know, immersing yourself in a completely fictional world is very distracting, especially if it's a casual game that you can just pick up and put down, and there's not real consequence. But whatever your thing is, if that's not your thing, do that. Like, watch all the TV shows you can't watch normally, watch all the movies you need to watch that you haven't watched from like last decade or three. Just give yourself a fair balance of work and relaxation, because both are necessary for a good mindset. There is still a lot of restriction on what we can do. So if you're not getting everything you need to get done because you don't have enough motivation or you don't feel up to it, please be kind to yourself. As some of you might have surmised as well, um, this is probably my final feature as a senior at Dixie Hollins High School. It's been an amazing four years with a spectacular staff and talented classmates who astound me on the yearly. I am very, very glad I chose Dixie as my high school, and I hope you all reflect that happiness because it might not be the best thing, might not be close to it, but it served me well. So, thank you. I wish you all the best. This is Rayla Masters, signing off. Thank you, Ray, but we're not done yet. Here is Charlie and Todd with some tips on how to stay sane. Hey there, Dixie, Charlie Reardon here. I just wanted to offer you some tips on how to deal with stress. The CDC shares the importance of eating right, drinking enough water, and getting enough sleep with coping with stress. It's also important to reach out to others if you feel that you need to. The Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration is one resource that is good for this. If you call their national helpline, they can connect you to local resources where you can get the mental health help you need. The CDC also mentions that if you notice that news events are causing you stress, then to take a step back. This goes for social media, the internet, and even conversations about news events. If you notice that these things are stressing you out, then take a step back. Yes, it's important to stay informed, but know your limits. Hey there, Dixie. I'm Todd Niquette. I'm going to be talking with you guys about how to stay motivated. I know right now it's a really hard thing to do to stay motivated to do anything. How do you start to feel motivated? The easiest thing to do is to just get out of bed. I know a lot of you guys are like, out of bed? That's nothing. But I promise you, you just get out of bed, walk around for a little bit. Even if it's just your bedroom or your house, you'll start to feel better. And after that, you can start to build it up. Go for a run. Listen to some music. Just do something to help get you motivated, to get you moving. To stay motivated, you need to keep moving. You need to keep doing what you're doing. Now what to do with that motivation, whether that's just teams, whether you finally have the motivation, the energy to get up on teams, do some schoolwork, and knock out an A at the end of the year, or clean up your room. I, I, I've cleaned up the majority of my room. And once you start to do bigger tasks, and you start to succeed at them, you'll feel better, and you'll feel even more motivated to take on the next challenge. I promise, guys. You do some of these things, and you'll feel absolutely amazing. I'll see you guys next time here on Rebel. Thanks guys. I think there's been a burning question on everyone's mind as they've been watching. What has Joe Locke been up to? Well, let's find out right now. My friends have been asking me a bunch of different questions, and I figured instead of answering all of them individually, I'm gonna answer all of them in this video right here. Okay, the first question, what do I do to pass the time? Well, honestly? I don't 
don't really know. Another question I get asked constantly is how do you manage the workload? Honestly, I've done every assignment on time, like a day before it's due. I have no work that I need to make up. The question I get asked the most is how do you balance school and work? And honestly, that's easy. I don't. Back to it! Thanks for letting us all know what you've been up to, Joel. That was great, guys. Thanks for all watching our first at-home feature and our show. Have a great summer, and we won't see you next time here on Rebel Vision. Vision.